Since he was last seen in the media in 2015, Jason Orange of Take That has undoubtedly drawn comparisons to Gary Barlow's new twin. Jason Orange, 52, was recently spotted in public for the first time in eight years, and in this photo, he can't help but be mistaken for his 52-year-old bandmate Gary Barlow. Fans will definitely be surprised to see the singer in public as well as by his new look. When the Mancunian singer decided he didn't want to keep making music and performing, the trio split up in 2014. He said there were no fallings out, only a decision on my part that I no longer wish to do this, in a statement released by the band. Jason no longer had his short, recognizable hair. Instead, it was longer and messier, with a gray mustache and stubble. He was seen grinning as he walked through London and looked at real estate listings. Jason wore a long coat, khaki pants, Chelsea boots, and a blue beanie to display a more subdued aesthetic. The band came back together earlier this month as a trio for the Coronation concert, even though they were also without 49-year-old Robbie Williams. Gary discussed the reunion with The Sun before their performance, saying, We were really honored to be asked to take part. It's a huge moment in our country's history. After a hiatus of four years, the band returned to live performances with singles like Never Forget and Greatest Day. The band declared that they were back for good on Instagram. The BBC posted a video of their performance, and fans commented, Incredible performance as always. And such a huge stage and so many insane musicians. Britain's Got Talent contestant Callum Scott, 34, unexpectedly joined the group for one of their songs. Seven albums and eleven singles by the boy band peaked at number one in the UK, making them one of the most successful pop groups in British history. The group's 1995 hit Back for Good, which reached number one in 31 different countries and made their US Top 10 debut, propelled them to international fame. Jason has led a calmer life since splitting from the band, only making the occasional appearance at local Manchester clubs. Jason was apparently chosen as a band member over his other bandmates because of his dancing skills and ability to act as the group's visual. As a result, in the beginning, he didn't sing or play on the recordings. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel, Daily Talent Show, and stay with us.